Number 81, what capacitance should be used to produce a two mega ohm reactance at 60 Hertz? So first of all, what capacitance? The variable is capital C. Then they're telling you the reactance of this capacitance. In other words, they're telling you the capacitive reactance. So reactance has the variable letter X. And since we're talking about capacitive reactance, it's going to be X sub C. So they give us that value and they also tell us now the frequency. So we have to figure out how all, the, how all these variables relate and we're going to be dealing with a formula down here on the bottom right. It says that the inductive capacitance now is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. Look at how similar it is to the inductive reactance formula. All right, Very similar, subtle difference. So now if we need to find C, then all we got to do is basically bring C on out of the denominator. Oh, no, didn't mean to delete that. Bring C on out of the denominator, up into the numerator, and bring the inductive capacitance on down into that denominator. Look at how nice and easy that algebra is. So this is just going to be 1 divided by uh, 2 pi multiplied by the frequency in hertz. They gave that to us, so that's 60, multiplied by the inductive capacitance in ohms. All right, so this is 2 times 10 to the positive 6 ohms. So basically, inductive reactance and uh, capacitive reactance is basically a type of resistance. All right, and we deal with these um, resistances, so to speak, in RLC circuits, resistance, inductor, and capacitance circuits. So this is going to be one divided by uh, one divided by two pi times sixty times two times ten to the sixth, and this is going to work out to be about one point three three times ten to the minus uh, ninth. Okay, times ten to the minus ninth. And remember, the units of capacitance is farads. And that's that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Check out some more of the videos if you have any questions. Also, if you're taking pre-calculus and chemistry, at some point in time, we're doing all the questions in those particular OpenStax books. So check them out, even if you're not using the book. OpenStax, go to the website, download it for free, find similar questions, all right? And we'll have a video out there. So we can definitely help you in your other courses. Take care.